Good morning all. This is the last session on module 4 that is about input output devices. Today we will learn about the last topic on output devices that are about control devices. Computers can be used to control simple devices such as lights, buses, robotic arms and motors using control output devices. These are controlled by turning them on or off according to a set of instructions. So these are done with the help of software and uh, this can be done with the help of output devices. There are lights, buses, robotic arms and motors. Lights can also be um, seen as lighting control devices. The term lighting control system refers to an intelligent network system of devices related to lighting control. So it involves lights um, and relays, sensors, photo cells, light control switches or uh, touch screens and signals from other building systems uh, such as fire alarm. So these are all part of the lighting control system. Adjustment of the system occurs both at device locations and at central computer locations via software programs or other interface devices so that we can uh, operate this uh, system uh, at the device locations or we can operate as a central uh, central uh, remote manner uh, so that we can operate this uh, easily using um, centralized control mechanisms. These systems are widely used on both indoor and outdoor lighting of commercial, industrial and residential spaces. These systems serve to provide the right amount of light where and when it is needed. These are used with relays and control systems in signaling, automatic lighting and burglar and fire alarms. So uh, these are used uh, nowadays with the um, traffic light signals and we can use this as burglar or fire alarms. Another major benefit of lighting control systems is reduced energy consumption. We can reduce the amount of energy consumed by using this type of systems. Longer lamp life is also gained when dimming and switching of lights when not in use. There are several um, lights like this are available on market and uh, these are uh, used as part of IoT uh, systems that are Internet of Things and uh, we can um, control it remotely or we can uh, use this uh, as a centralized mechanism. So uh, these are some of the modern type of um, output devices. Next one is about buses. It is also known as beepers. Uh, it is an audio signaling device which may be mechanical, electromechanical or piezoelectric. It changes a current directly into a simple sound. Since it uses uh, low current, it can be powered directly from a computer. There is no need of uh, relay or switches in between. We can use directly from a computer. Typical uses of buses and beepers include alarm devices, timers and confirmation of user input such as mouse click or keystroke as we are using it uh, along with the quiz competitions and all. Uh, next one is uh, robotic arms. 
This is also one of the um, very recently used output device. Uh, it's a type of mechanical arm, usually programmable with similar functions of a human arm. So this can be part of a robot or it can be a standalone one. The links of such a manipulator are connected by joints, allowing either rotational motion or linear display, displacement. Uh, both are possible. The links of the manipulator can be considered to form a kinematic chain. The terminals of the kinematic chain of the manipulator is called the end effector and it is analogous to a human hand. So this is the mechanism behind a robotic arm and it acts as a human arm. Uh, these are uh, mainly used in uh, various applications. Uh, these are used um, to assist the uh, mentally uh, disabled or um, the persons uh, who are sick uh, and uh, many other purposes we are using this type of robotic arms nowadays. Next one is motors. Uh, these are not very heavy uh, or large amount of motors. These are um, small motors that are used along with the computers uh, that can be used as output devices. These are not usually powered directly from a computer as they use too much current. So we are not directly connect with the computer. It can be um, used as a separate device. They are usually controlled through a relay which is an electronic switch. In a relay, a small current controls an electromagnetic switch which can turn on or off the much larger current which powers the motor. So with the help of relays, we can use uh, the motors uh, with the computers. Examples include electronic doors and windows, cooling fans, etc. Here in this uh, kind of applications, we are using uh, motors. These are also used in the automobile industry to move robot arms that spray body shells or assemble them and it can also be used in other industries and in electronics manufacturing to assemble delicate electronic components on a printed circuit board that is difficult for a human hand so it can be uh, done with the help of robot arms and this can be work uh, with the help of motors so these are the various control devices used as output devices of computers Thank you very much. You now we have completed our fourth module and uh, we will continue with the fifth module. It will take only three to four uh, sessions and after that we will come to first and second modules. Um, and uh, I put only one uh, module for your particular examination. So study well and prepare according to the questions I have given. Thank you very much.